Uh, God. Uh, packed. Uh, oh, uh, hey, sorry. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Thank you. Uh, just need to get my suitcase up in the rack. Uh, there. Uh, uh, sorry. A table seat to yourself is a treasure, isn't it? I'm sorry to take it from you. I wouldn't normally do this, but apparently the seat number on my ticket doesn't exist. Seems there was a shortage of carriages or something crap like that. Gotta love privatized rail, right? <laughs> yeah. Selling off a vital public service to private corporations. What could go wrong? It's not like they'd keep stripping the service back to save money until it's just barely functioning anymore in the pursuit of profit in a marketplace where they have literally no competition, right? They wouldn't do that. <sighs> yeah, I love it. Still, nice to have something to rant about when you aren't feeling too good otherwise, you know? Nothing like a good rant to put you in a better mood. Or maybe just add anger to the mix of negative emotions you're already feeling. That might be what's just happened, actually. Hmm. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I, I won't bother you anymore. Nothing worse than a stranger on a train who won't stop talking to you, is there? Uh, oh, oh, no, no, I wasn't talking about you. Sorry, no, I mean, you were just replying to what I was saying, weren't you? Only being polite, so... <laughs> just, sometimes there are some real oddballs. I don't always mind. Sometimes it's nice to get a different perspective on life. But when they say some real dumb shit, and you just have to grin and bear it in the name of... I don't know, being civil... Ugh. <laughs> hmm. Last time I was on a train, this fella wouldn't stop telling me about these weird things he likes to listen to on YouTube. It's like people whispering in your ears, saying comforting things, and pretending to be your boyfriend or something? I don't know. I, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> oh, it sounded harmless enough. Maybe even nice if you're in the right mood, but I can't imagine basing your whole life around it. Who would do that? Besides, I didn't really understand what he was talking about, so I was just nodding and smiling. I think eventually he got the message. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I went and looked up some of the stuff he was talking about when he got home and actually kind of got into it. There was this one channel. Ugh. I don't remember the name. It was some weird word. Had plants in the profile picture, maybe? Anyway, sorry, fuck. Now I'm doing to you exactly what that guy did to me. <laughs> I'm sure you don't actually care. <laughs> no. Sorry. Uh, I'm just... Ugh. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Just, you know... Train station vending machine coffee. <laughs> I should have just got water. Why do I do this to myself? In return for drinking something that tastes like burned mud, I get dehydration and heart palpitations. Doesn't sound like a great deal, does it? Uh, I'm actually really dehydrated too. I keep forgetting to drink at the moment. Ugh, my lips are so dry. I really should have got some water. You, uh, no, 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 you keep that water for yourself. I'm sure you bought it for a reason. And bottled water is absurdly overpriced. Anyway, no, you keep it. You'll want it later. Uh, are you absolutely sure? Uh, it's really generous of you to offer something like that to a total stranger. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, sure. Thank you. God, I needed that. I really did. So thirsty. 
I can feel my brain unshriveling as we speak. Thank you. You sure I can have the rest too? You don't want it back? Oh, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You're right, my lips have touched that bottle. Be kind of weird if you did want it back. Now I think about it, I'd be a little suspicious. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I feel so much better now. My head was, like, screaming at me to get some water in it. I'm sure that that water can't actually have made its way through my system yet, but the mental effects of having drunk some... I think that might have cured me. <laughs> this was really nice of you. Might just turn a really shitty day around. Ugh, no, you... You don't want to hear it all. I seriously feel like I'm turning into one of those uncomfortable train strangers. Trangers? Who spill their guts to absolutely anybody who'll listen. I don't want to be like that. <laughs> well... Yeah, it would be kind of nice to get some things out of my head. I have had a hell of a day. <laughs> really fucking... Whew. You're going to regret asking, you know. It's depressing. So, you have one more chance to change your mind and we can just ignore each other for the rest of the journey. I highly recommend taking that option. <sighs> Alright. Well, on your head be it. Uh, I'm on the way home, I guess. It's not really home, it's... Ugh, this is pathetic. I'm going back to my parents. Uh, I had a place of my own, but I can't live there anymore. So, mums, it is. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I've got the basics in my suitcase, all the clothes I should need and stuff, but other things... All the furniture I own, the big stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with all that. I guess... Sell it. You want a saggy, scratched-up sofa? Rickety old bookshelf? Crappy Ikea coffee table? I'll sell it cheap. <laughs> I might just give it away, to be honest. Whatever gets rid of it quickest. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to draw things out. It's painful enough as it is. Oh, you could probably guess. Have a guess. Go on. Why would a fella my age, owning furniture and stuff, be moving back in with his mum? <laughs> wow. Yeah, you guessed it. <laughs> Six years. Down the shitter. Not a good day for me. Mm, it actually happened a couple days ago. I stayed in a hotel room nearby while we were figuring out if it was actually properly over, you know. But turns out, yeah, here it is. It's done. Fully cooked. <laughs> God. Try all you like, honestly. I'm... I'm in a gut-spilling mood. I'd probably tell you anything. <sighs> hmm. Why? Seems like such a simple question, but... I don't really know what the answer is. Probably there isn't a simple answer. We grew, I guess. And we grew in opposite directions. Actually, no. That would have made things simpler. We didn't grow in completely opposite directions. A lot of the time, we were growing the same way, I think. Things seemed to work. But every now and then, one of us would veer off the path, take a different route for a bit, and finding our way back to each other got harder and harder every time that happened, you know. 
At some points along the path, we were really tightly intertwined, but other times we split off, but then got back on track. Uh, I don't know. Just felt like we've been taking very different paths through life for a year now. Two years, maybe. Certainly hasn't felt like we've been growing together like we might have done once upon a time. We've both been growing and changing, just wasn't in the same direction anymore. No, and I don't know how either or both of us could have done what we needed to do to start growing in the same direction again without being untrue to ourselves. You know, I, I can see what aspects of my life and how I'd grown were causing problems for the relationship, and I could see the same things for them, and they could see the problems for me, but I just don't think there was a way to fix things without being inauthentic to ourselves and miserable because of it. There's no point in staying in a relationship if you have to lie to yourself the whole time about who you are and what you want. <sighs> oh. God. Oh, fucking God. Oh. How the fuck am I going to get through the next few days or weeks, let alone the rest of my life? <laughs> what am I going to do? What am I doing? You really got me going. <sighs> How do you do that, huh? I'm usually a very private person, you know? That might sound like bullshit after I've just spilled all that to a total stranger, but... Seriously. You only asked a few questions. I don't know, I guess, the way you ask them, the look in your eye, the tone of your voice, it just sounded like you'd understand. <laughs> I felt like I could trust you. <laughs> what is this? What's happening? Can't do with a hug. Thank you. I needed that. I really did. I was... kind of facing the thought of dealing with this alone, you know? <laughs> All my friends were their friends too, so... I didn't think I'd have anybody to talk to about it. Even if we never talk again, I... I think I'll remember this forever. <laughs> Is that stupid? That's probably stupid. I... Uh, well, I... Yeah, I'd love to stay in touch. I think I... need someone like you in my life right now. Could I... get your number? <laughs> 